Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obra Potato, and this is Spin Mortality. It's a little bit of an interesting name, but it's a play on the term spin and mortality slash immortality. Because that is what this game is all about. It is all about the spin, and it is all about creating a lasting legacy and surviving forever. This game is described as a cyberpunk management simulator that has the player founding a company, spreading fake news, starting riots, and of course, becoming immortal. It's published by James Patton and it was released on the 1st of February 2019. So, let us found a mega corporation. So, I'm going to call my corporation... I think that's how you spell Enterprises. Orbital Enterprises, we're going to be going for a orange color with a logo that looks slightly orbitally. I think that's probably the best way of going about doing things. There we go. The correct spelling would indeed help. Let's go for the industry standard, which is going to mean startup capital, income, and board are normal. This is the medium way of playing things. I think this is probably the best for what we're looking for. Incoming call from the board of directors. Welcome to the boardroom orbital. I'm Wes Kane, former CEO of this enterprise, currently in an undisclosed location. But don't think for a sec that makes you safe if you get on my bad side. We are the board, the backstage puppet masters of the world around you. We have worked tirelessly to shape the world in our image. But though we command vast resources, there is one enemy we cannot escape. Death. At least, not yet. We would like you to join us. Your career thus far has been marked with economic mediocrity and technical brilliance. We wish to alter that pattern. We have generously supplied the seed money for this startup. All we ask is that you research brain transfer technology and manufacture replacement bodies for us. In a word, we want you to make us immortal. If we all die, we'll take you with us via the expedience of an unpleasant failsafe implant. Think of it as a breach of contract. Oh, and we've taken the, 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 the oh, and we've taken the liberty of hiring a small pool of workers to get you started. Your AI assistant should explain everything else. That'll be all. No go. Now go run our company for us. Great. There we go. Well, I'm going to skip the tutorial because I have played through the tutorial or uh, what tutorial I have been able to find, because this t the tutorial in this game is slightly strange in that. Parts of the tutorial only proc when certain events happen, so it's a little bit difficult to, 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 to say how much of the tutorial I've actually done, but I probably, I think I've done most of it, the vast majority of it. Anyway, this is it. This is the screen that we will be playing on for, uh, for most of the time, and let's start discussing some of, the, uh, some of the bits and bobs that we can see around here. So this is the, this is the world, this is the, this is the globe, this, this is Earth, and on the Earth, there are super state continents, massive government bodies that uh, that exist and are going to be really the building blocks of the world that we know. What's really, really interesting is that each, each building block, each continent has a different, uh, a different government type. So Russia is a one-party state at this moment in time. Each individual, each individual state has also got its has also got its own characteristics. So Russia tends to lean towards individualism over collectivism, security over freedom, privacy over publicity, etc., etc., etc. The reason why this is important will become will become clear a little bit later on. But for now, all you need to know is that these are the characteristics that define the society, and they are different for every for every area. Uh, as you can see, South, Af South Africa is a democracy, which means it's slightly different from a one-party state uh, with regards to the fact that the politics are slightly different. And we can actually influence the politics in each of these states, so it's very, very cool indeed. Uh, also, I would like to point out that there is a prosperity to chaos uh, scale. And basically, if you are operating in a country that is that is more prosperous, then you will make more money. It's pretty much as simple as that. But we'll talk a little bit about how we make money and uh, and what we do with that scale a little bit later on. But yeah, that's it for now. We've got the one-party states, we've got the democracies, and then we've also got... Let me see if I can find, find any. Yes, this. So South America. South America is a corporate nation, which is very, very cool. It is basically a collection. It is a collection of companies 
which make up which make up the government. And so whoever has a controlling stake in South America, the largest controlling stake in South America, um, they, they get to influence policy, which I think is crazy. Also, we can actually buy shares and sell shares in the nation of South America. How crazy is that? I love that. That is, a, that is such an interesting concept. There's also media, which we'll talk a little bit about uh, later on. But for now, it's all good. Also, different modifiers, different tax rates. Obviously, we're not making any money from anywhere at the moment, but that's because we've just we've just started. We haven't we haven't made uh, any money making vehicles. Anyway, uh, down in the left uh, corner here, down the bottom bottom left corner, the bottom right corner, down the bottom right hand corner, you can see that our current capital is 150 million dollars, and our profit next turn will be negative nine million. That's because of course we only have expenses at the moment. We don't have any uh, any money coming in, so we're going to try and rectify that fairly soon. Also, down in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see that we've got two groups of workers. We've got interns. Currently, we've got five teams of interns. And interns are slightly cheaper and quicker to recruit than fully contracted employees, but less effective due to inexperience and also more likely to leave the company. As you can see, they produce less research, they're less creative, and you pay them less, and they take less time to recruit. The opposite is basically true for the, uh, for the worker. You know, just a regular a regular employee really provides a standard amount of research creativity, but you pay him more and it takes uh, it takes longer to recruit. So there we go. This is the turn timer. Uh, I believe every turn is six months. I think is uh, is uh, is the turn length. So we will be going to winter of uh, of twenty sixty. I think it's I think it's six months anyway. It doesn't particularly matter for for uh, for all intents and purposes now. But anyway, let's start talking a little bit about uh, about this screen. So this is the this is this is the company the company overview screen the corporation screen you can see that I'm the CEO my approximate death time will be between 2099 and 2109 which means that we need to try and get ourselves a replacement body before that time which is just mad actually uh, public public opinion will change uh, with regards to with regards to what the public think about our company corruption inefficiency this is kind of this is kind of a little bit simplistic, I believe, but it basically is that if your company gets super efficient, you need to you need to restructure because if your company becomes super inefficient, then you're just not able to do something. Also, this is the the value of the resources that we get each turn. They are displayed up here: military connections, class connections, and cyber connections. Connections to uh, connections to the military, connections to the uh, sort of upper classes and cyber connections, you know, connections to hackers and whatnot. And this is a way that you can increase all of your points, but we don't really need to worry about this too, too much at the present moment. Let's talk about research and let's talk about making some money. So we're going to start researching social media. It's the sort of first rung on the ladder, and it's also the cheapest bit of tech to research. If you have a little look, each different tech has, uh, has a bunch of different effects. Can it be monetized? Yes, that is pretty much what we're looking for. We want to make sure that we're actually monetizing whatever we're researching. The labor cost is slightly different for each individual tech, and as we go up the tech tree, uh, the, the labor cost gets much larger. And basically, you can assign a bunch of teams. I'm going to assign all of the teams to do a little bit of research on social media. So we're equipping all of the interns and we're also equipping all of the employees. And that basically means that it's gonna be take between one and two turns to fully research social media, which is perfect. And the effect of social media is plus 5% media power where launched. Nice, and the maximum income is 20 million. Beautiful, that is fantastic news. So um, as I sort of say, this is how we need to get to brain transfer. Brain transfer is all the way down at the bottom left here. It requires a whole bunch of uh, projects, and this is the this is the one that allows us to swap bodies and cheat death, which is kind of crazy. It's kind of kind of mental that that's the goal that we're going for here, but that's it. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, we're going to be researching social media in just a turn or two. Let's go and talk about finances. At the moment, you can see. There's a whole bunch, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. We're not really making any money. Look at all this stuff that we can do. Space program, biotanks, parent companies. Yeah, anyway, at the moment, we're not making much money, but this is a finance screen. Let's go and have a little look at the board of directors. So, interestingly enough, right, the board of directors all have a death date as well. Now, if you'll recall what they said in the intro, if we don't manage to make them immortal by the time that they die, well, I think that we're going to be... Uh, 
we're going to be in a spot of bother, let's say. So you die approximately in 2099, which is uh, 39 years or something. So we don't actually have that long to get you a brand new body. Anyway, uh, the board approval currently sits at about 100%. Well, it sits at exactly 100%. And this is how much confidence they have in us. The lower that it gets, the more endangered we become. And this is authority, how much sway you hold over your company's long-term corporate strategy. And we can use it to unlock agendas, which I will talk about right now, actually. So agendas are kind of a whole bunch of modifiers that will allow us to do a whole bunch of even more shady stuff. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to unlock them at the moment because we need to get, we need to get 10 authority. And we don't have any authority at this moment in time. And these three buttons, which are locked, we need to complete the agendas first, right? So this is the, the brain transfer, the brain transfer button right here. This is the rapid task force. It doesn't particularly matter. We'll, we'll deal with that as we come to it. Yeah, so that is, that is it. This is spin, spin mortality. And I think that we should probably go to the next turn and get this show on the road. Let's do it. Next turn. Beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, we get our standard number of connections as defined over here, which is quite nice. Now, did we manage to finish the research project that we were working on? I think we did actually. That is very, very cool indeed. Great, we managed to finish it in one turn, which is uh, which is just perfect actually for what we need it for. Now, let's talk a little bit about once what we can do once we've researched a specific bit of technology. So. A bunch of a bunch of research texts, a bunch of texts that you've researched, a bunch of texts that you've researched have what's called marketing angles. And marketing angles and unlocking marketing angles is really, really, really key. Because mar marketing angles allow you to launch in different markets and be more successful and make more money. I'll show you what that means. So at the present moment, we have got just one marketing angle. As you can see, this is our product list, the list of all the stuff that we've really researched. We've just got one marketing angle and that's never been easier. Friendships are time consuming in the busy 21st century. It can be hard to make time for them. Let's make it easier. Right, so what our task is, what our task is, is we need to try and identify what characteristics, what national characteristics would identify with a statement like that. So never been easier. Friendships are time consuming. Okay, so maybe this is a country that leans towards individualism and perhaps privacy, maybe. I, I I don't I don't particularly know. So yeah, so we're looking we're looking we need to look on the graph and see what what is it that we think that that statement would identify with. Yeah, so I don't really know where the best place to launch this would be but it doesn't actually particularly matter. As you can see, we can launch in uh, in North America if we were to launch. We choose a uh, we choose our marketing angle and we go for it, right? Costs us 3 and the potential income is up to 8. The point is is that we don't really want to do that. What we want to do is we want to perform a focus test and that will cost us one class connection, that one up there, and it will reveal the cultural values for the marketing angle. So let's do that right now. Boom, it costs us uh, Cost as our only class connection, but it now means that we can actually see exactly where we will benefit from. Right, so, never been easier. So it turns out that it's got n almost nothing to do with individualism, like I like I predicted, but that's okay. Uh, it, tends to, it tends to be favored by people who value convenience, publicity, novelty, and collectivism. But it highly is, it is highly valued by people that that value convenience. So that's what we need to do. We need to find a we need to find a country that values convenience. And ideally it would also value the other the other traits which we have identified. Yeah, nothing nothing sort of sticks out to me immediately. Russia's probably our best one so far. This is pretty good. This is pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah, this is not too bad either. South Africa is not too bad. I think that this is probably the best, one of the best places to launch. But the great news is, is that we can actually launch in every single continent. And that is what we're going to do. 
But the thing is, is that we want to make sure that we're launching with the right marketing angle in the right continent. So let's queue up South America to, um, to launch. I also want to launch, uh, I believe, in Russia. Let's do this. Great. So it's going to cost us $3 million to launch, which we've, uh, which we've already paid for. But the profits will be huge. And we'll be launching next turn, which is quite nice. The great thing is, is that we can also equip a bunch of people to research more marketing angles. So if I was to put everyone into researching social media marketing angles, there's a 95% chance that someone will come up with a marketing angle. Now, this percentage doesn't need to stop at 100. It can go beyond 100. So 120% means that they might discover two over the course of uh, over the course of a turn. But with 95%, We'll just uh, we'll just leave that for now. Also, I'm going to go and recruit more people. I want to queue up a whole bunch of interns to be recruited and also employees. As I say, employees take two turns, interns take one turn. I'm not really that bothered, to be honest. Okay, so we should be launching in two continents next turn. And next turn, we'll also have more class connections to spend on focus, uh, focus research, focus point research. Nice. Okay, let's go to the next turn. Ah, now, this is the first of a whole bunch of random events. We've received a chop job, a chop job, a top job. We've received, that's not even a top job. We've received a job application from a skilled and appropriate candidate. We think it would be a good fit for our company vision and they're willing to start immediately. They start work tomorrow. We're not looking to grow our workforce right now. I will take, I will take a free worker wherever I get the opportunity. 105%, as you can see, that is darn gorgeous. All right, beautiful. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so let's see if we discovered any marketing angles. We did indeed. We discovered post, post, post. It's never been a better time to promote yourself. Well, let's discover that. Oh, as you can see, look, we launched. We launched in Russia, and the launch was a four out of five star success. Now, that is, of course, because we managed to line up the values to the best of our ability. We managed to line up the values to a degree. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but it was pretty darn good. So four out of five stars is not too bad. Now we could of course relaunch the product with a brand new marketing angle. And that might be something that we want to do in in, uh, in different places because each turn our, uh, our fixed costs will become larger and our sales income will decrease. But you know, we're gonna be making money, which is the important thing. Anyway, uh, how are things going in South America? Whoa, this was a five-star launch success. That is fantastic news, which means that we're going to make six million a turn. Man, that is great. That is really, really good. So, um, post, post, post. Post, post, post would be really, really good for any country that would like post, post, post. We're looking for the materialist and the uh, and the publicity the publicity view. I tell you what, there's nowhere that's really, there's nowhere that's really digging post, post, post right now. I guess it's not terrible in Europe or North Africa or South Africa, really. You know what, let's launch in South Africa. Let's launch in South Africa. I'm keen just to try and get profitable. That's a priority for us. We're gonna keep as many people as we possibly can invested into the social media thing. In fact, you know what? We're gonna increase the amount of teams that we have working on social media. We're just gonna to continue to hire, hire, hire. That's what I, th I really think that we need to do. Also, we gotta bear in mind that interns are more likely to leave the company. So I would expect us, I would expect the number of interns to decrease over the course of uh, a couple of turns. Okay, what have we got here? A social media opportunity. Our technicians have been working hard on our social media algorithms. These are the systems that decide what content to show users. Social media gains a permanent 10% boost to all future income. Lose one cyber connection. A random nation will become more xenophobic. Social media suffers a permanent 10% loss to all future income. Gain five public opinion. Lose one cyber connection. A random event will... Okay, no. I mean, I care about money. Look, that's taken us from negative 1.55... Uh, million loss to just a 0 0.42 million loss. Also, we can see that there are occasional news stories. Asia succumbs to echo chamber, toxic discourse intensifies. So I believe it was Asia that became slightly more xenophobic, moving away a little bit from multiculturalism. Very, very interesting indeed. And Orbital Enterprises launches a new social media platform in Russia, promises total social experience. That is exactly what we promise. New hires, beautiful. And creativity report, yeah, fine, great. I feel like this is a, a real life office simulator where you get to check your emails, it's great. 
Okay, next turn. Beautiful. So, first things first. We launched in... We launched... I'll deal with that in a second. We launched in South Africa. How did it go? It was a five-star smash hit. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? That has been... That's fantastic. That's really, really good. That is really, really good. Um, yeah, so we're going to be making 7.66 million per turn. Which is nothing to sniff at. Already, we're uh, we're making we're making a little bit over two million per turn, which is really really good. And we have unlocked a brand new uh, a brand new marketing angle with which we can use a focus point to unlock. There we go. Let's see. Is there anyone that wants? Is there anyone that wants us to launch? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think we should probably launch in Oceana. Let's set, let's set a launch for Oceana. It's also not terrible in North Africa. Yeah. And bear in mind, we can, of course, relaunch if we want to. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's, let's launch in North Africa. I feel like that's a, a fairly good thing to do. We haven't recouped all of the funds that we initially had at the start of the game, which was 150 million, but that's not really a problem. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's just hire as many people as we possibly can. We need to just keep growing and growing and growing the company. That is really what's important right now. The board still likes me, which is great. Very, very happy with that. We're getting uh, 2 million per turn in net profit, which is lovely. Uh, it's also interesting to note that each place that we launch, we do end up paying uh, tax. And there is a different tax rate for each country. So there's only 45% over there. I believe Russia, is it Russia that has? I was waiting to say, I was sure that I saw quite a low tax rate somewhere, but maybe I'm just imagining that. Anyway, the point of the matter is, is that I believe that we can change that through our, through our influence of politics. Yeah. So we need to gain we need to gain favor with the with the current ruling party in order to get them to lower tax, which is very very interesting. This whole thing is very very cool, and there's a whole bunch of sort of ethical questions as well that will go hand in hand with researching brains in jars and genetic splicing and all of that good stuff. But ladies and gents, we're going to wrap this episode up here. It's been a little bit of a, a tutorial episode for the uh, for the first one, but in the second episode, we're going to be uh, we're going to be jumping right on in and uh, and making ourselves immortal, or eventually making ourselves immortal. Ladies and gents, thank you very very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.